Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and this is my 100% walkthrough for Metro Exodus. <laughs> I do want to quickly apologize that this video has taken a little bit longer uh, to record. I've had a bit of a, uh, a throat slash uh, voice issue lately. Um, the, the doctor said I've been overusing my voice. I've been doing lots of recordings for, for YouTube here on YouTube. And I've also been streaming a lot over on Twitch. Uh, don't forget to check me out there if you want to uh, click on the link in the video description. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there, but I've had to just um, cut back a tiny bit over the last few days. Um, actually, cut back to zero the last few days, just to give my voice a rest. Uh, and hopefully we're back up and running now. Now, at the end of the last video, we, uh, we got a postcard from inside there. We came out and we took out the enemies that had uh, set up an ambush for us. And before we leave this area, we're going to head, uh, the main priority is to head up there. We've got a collectible up there. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to head inside this little uh, shack thingy here. And over here, there is a part for our pistol that we don't have yet. So let's make sure we grab that. Grab some loot. What the break did allow me to do is... Um, what I've done is from here to the end of the game, I've played through another uh, another two times actually, just practicing a few things, um, seeing what it's doing, a few different things, um, what it turns out like and, and so on. Um, one thing I have worked out is that I do want to grab as much loot as we can. I don't want to um, skip any loot. Speaking of which, there should be some right here. There we go. I don't want to run low, like we don't run out of anything. But I want to make sure that you guys, if you're following along, you have enough to do whatever it is you might want to do. Um, you might be playing a little bit differently to me. Um, so we will cover as much of that as we can. Uh, now for this little bit, we're going to go inside and work our way up, as I said, towards that collectible. There's going to be a few mutants playing possum here and there. So where we can, we're going to take them out silently. And then if we need to, we're going to swap back to our shotgun and take them out like that. So if you creep up to this here, you'll see this guy here. You can even see that he's breathing. If we walk past him, he'll jump up and try and grab us or something. So let's just take care of him now. There we go. All right. Probably didn't need to reload. Gonna crouch again. There's gonna be another possum. Oh, it sounds like he's already up, is he? Let me see. It's usually right there. There he is. Look at that. What a sneaky bugger. Let's just take care of him. All right. Probably gonna have my shotgun ready just in case for this next bit. Oh, do we need to charge our torch? Oh, there's a guy already. Let's see, it, it, it can happen a little bit differently. Yeah, come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. All right. Two more there. Did I loot this body? I think I did. And don't forget this locker here. Excellent. There's another body out here. So sometimes this guy will just be playing possum like inside the wall. I can't remember which side it is now. But yeah, he'll, he'll be playing possum in here if you haven't already startled him. I think it was because I came in not crouched that maybe woke them up. Now, what we're going to do here, as soon as I try and go up this... Uh, pile of rubble here, we, we want to work our way upstairs. As soon as we go up here, we should... Um, alert a few more. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just back up into this corner. Ooh. Oh, 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 that wasn't part of the plan, but it's okay. Mash away at the X button. It's gonna be, he's going to have a couple of friends, so let's just shoot straight away. Oh, did I kill him? No. There we go. And you. Got him. All right. As usual, things didn't go completely to plan, but it, it all worked out in the end. Yeah, so what you do is usually just edge up that ramp a little bit. As soon as they spawn or uh, react, you, I just let, hide in this corner, let them come down the ramp and take them out as they come down. Easy peasy. All right, up we go. Up, Artyom, what are you doing? Bloody stuck. I'm literally stuck. Oh, there we go, there we go. Can happen. Come on, up you get. All right, I don't think there's any loot over there. No, no, no. Heading across here. 
Gonna trigger some more enemies. Usually at that doorway there. Let's see what happens. There we go. And there'll be another one coming from our right, I think. There we are. Just keep an eye on the left. I have had occasion where one comes from over there. Um, he might come a bit later. There's another guy over here, though. Let's take care of him. Check the left again. Okay. Not yet? Alright, good, 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 good. Now, what we want to do is go and grab some loot. There's none over here. I'm just... I'm always double-checking, even though I've done those practice runs that I told you guys about. Anyway, I'm going to grab this one here. I'm going to go through here. There should be a body and also this locker here. And another locker. The rest are all done. Alright, loot this guy. And don't forget to grab the ammo off the uh, Gatling gun or pick it up if that's what you choose to do. And that guy should be the guy that we just killed earlier. So he's not playing possum. He's he's proper dead. <laughs> Alright, grab that loot and we're going to head back this way. And we're going to trigger another guy as we walk through this next room. There's going to be a guy that will pop out in this doorway here. Hopefully. Here he comes. Oop. And turn around. Walk back the way we came, and if we head through this doorway, there's going to be another guy coming. Let's get... Oh, he's jumped over the wall. I don't know if you saw that. He just jumped over that wall. Here we go. You guys normally come out a bit later, but that's okay. We'll deal with you now. Oops. Jeez, I'm wasting ammo there. Alright, let's just charge up the torch. I don't like it getting even the tiniest bit darker. Okay, so those guys don't normally come so soon, so let's see, well, let's grab this loot first. Um, it's going to change things up, It'll, things might run a little bit differently for you guys if you're following along. Normally I just trigger that first guy and then that guy that comes out behind me. Um, anyway, they may have come from upstairs this next section, so we might have things happening a little bit different as we get up here. Yeah, there's normally a guy playing possum right there. So we've obviously triggered him. Usually just take him out by sitting here and taking him out. He's usually lying on the ground there. Um, and then there's that guy there who is, whoops, who is playing possum. Let's grab our Tiha and get rid of him silently. Yeah, you can see it locks onto him. If he wasn't, if he was just a dead body, it wouldn't lock on like that. With your, you know, your aim assist. Oh, come on, Aussie aim. There we go. And you saw that the uh, reticle went went red, which also means a kill. And I want to loot this body out here. I'm not sure where that extra enemy came from that that ended up coming uh, across to meet us just before. Anyway, loot this body here and grab this loot here. Now, of course, I probably do miss a, a certain amount of, of loot. I'll try and grab as much as we can. All right, now we're going to go up two sets of stairs. Crouch back down just in case. All right, we made it. No more enemies. And we can go through this door here. All right, there is usually... Uh, it says that we need that part off the gun, but it actually doesn't add anything to our inventory. And the main re- oh, we'll grab this loot first. And another lot over near the bed. Grab that loot. And the main reason we came up here is for this here. This is our next suit upgrade. Let's pick that up. And we can check it straight away over here at the workbench. Let's go straight through to our suit upgrades. And the one we just picked up is this one here, the night vision something amplifier. Okay. Now I don't actually use this um, at all really for the, for the remainder of the playthrough. So 
I am going to stay on, um, I'm just trying to think what's coming up. Do we want extra bright or just extra charge? I think I prefer the extra bright. Let's, uh, let's just leave that attached. All right. And as we move across here, we have picked up some new parts for our A shot. Let's have a look. What do we got? That adds stability. So yeah, we'll, we'll put that on. We've got the four barrels now for the shotgun. I do not like this. Uh, does it say that in the... Yeah, look, it um, it doesn't actually... Oh, yeah, it does say by firing two barrels of its four at once. So each, each time you pull the trigger, there goes two shotgun shells. It is very powerful, but it's not... As you can see there, the damage, it only adds on two notches to the damage. It's um, Considering you're firing two shots at once, you'd want it to annihilate everything, but it doesn't. So... Um, to conserve more ammo, I'm going to stick to the two barrels, guys. And we did get the uh, laser for the shotgun. We don't need that. I'm not going to use that. All right, we don't need to clean any of it either. Same there. Well, we do need to clean the uh, Kalash. Let's uh, do that just a tiny bit. Make sure my mask is fully repaired as well. And what do we got here? Let's uh, craft one med kit. We've got enough air filters for now. Let's uh, grab some more shotgun shells. We have actually got quite a bit of uh, crafting parts and uh, chemicals, so like I said, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we have enough to do what you guys want to do. All right, that looks pretty good from here. Exit out of there. So like I said, make sure you've got that uh, suit upgrade. And what we're gonna do now, even though this is a dirty, ratty place, is we're just gonna sleep till morning. Actually, let's see what is the time. It's 4.26, we could probably just leave it. Um, it is gonna start getting light anyway. Let's just leave it and let's head outside and we're gonna catch the zip line. And we're gonna work our way back to the van. Now you can go back down this zip line down to the hangar where we've got the postcard um, or you can grab this zip line and this is gonna take us back towards our van over there. Let's do that. So yeah, if you want a daylight, just um, have a sleep there. I usually like to play in daylight more so for the recording so that um, you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit clearer. But it's not too bad here and it's gonna get, it's gonna get daylight soon. All right, and grab the uh, loot off the body and then head down this ladder. Can't remember, did we grab, there's a body usually at the bottom of this ladder. I can't remember if we grabbed the loot off him in the last video. It looks like we did because he's uh, rolled over. Yeah, normally he's sitting up, so we did grab that. Hope you guys can see. Anyway, let's make a run for our van so that these uh, enemies don't get us. Jump in, jump in. And of course, make sure you do a save here. Um, so that we don't ruin our vehicle, even though we don't have long left here in the Caspian, guys. All right, let's bring up the map quickly before we go too far. Now, you can see there where oh, we oh, are oh, headed. Oh, yeah, let me yeah, just listen to this. <laughs> train, motherfuckers. Aren't you getting too fucking full of yourselves? Didn't your mommy tell you it's wrong to take other people's stuff? That's <laughs> coming from them. Our property. You ain't fucking crossed the line this time, you dumb motherfuckers. You are out of control and you will be put in your place. He's talking about the slaves that we uh, stole, apparently. Anyway, okay, so you can see where we're headed. We're going to go and meet Demir over there. But, but before we meet Demir, we're going to grab the final suit upgrade. And we're going to meet an NPC as well. So what I'm going to do is, it is just sort of... We're going to head down the road that we're facing right now to where the broken ship is. We're going to turn right and heading towards the uh, cross on the map there. And we're going to take a slight detour off to our left towards the coast, the north coast there, and grab that upgrade. Hopefully that explains that a little. Alright, so just head down here. This is of course where we uh, just eliminated the enemies in the previous video and we want to turn right here and we want to head down the coast here. The right way to go would be up there but we are going to go down the coastline down here for a little bit. 
And we're going to find a little cave right down the end down here. Oh, don't fall. You know, it might even be safer to leave your vehicle up the top, but... You know, I like living on the edge here. Alright, now I just want to turn around so that we can get back out of here. There's an NPC. Let's go see him first. I want to show you this, guys. You can completely miss this. Let's just put our gun away a little bit. You could get through the whole game without ever seeing this bit. Oh, so you brought him. Finally. Get lost now, you cretins. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know who he's talking to. Who the hell is this? Ah, one of the newcomers. <laughs> All right, you may go. We have something to talk about. Well, young man, now we can talk with masks off, huh? I take you didn't expect to see me here, huh? <laughs> it's hardly surprising. It's no apparently the Baron. That. So, the cretin that he is, sometimes does show surprising creativity. I have to give him that. Destroying what remains of the resistance, getting rid of the witch and rooting out treason in one fell swoop. This plan has grandeur. So that's why I'm sitting here. I don't even remember since how long. Looking at my property and listening to my double on the radio. Really? He has a way with the radio, I must say. Using him as a mere clay pigeon even seems like a waste. Oh well. <laughs> if anything, there's too many talents among my people. See this portrait? Does it even look like me? Of course it doesn't. The artist is a prime case of hmm. one talent too many. This cretin painted this off my double. Should have been a spitting image of me. But I don't even recognize this face. I can't remember where the painting came from either. No matter though. Let's talk about something else. Guests and trains, for example. <laughs> oh, we've been waiting for you. We do have ears in the vest, just like you have used to have here. Don't take it personal, but all of your spies had to burn for offending the Holy Flame. <laughs> A man's got to know his limitations, you see. I have a right to laugh at that bullshit, because I invented it all. I don't remember when, though. But that don't matter. What matters is that even I keep the facade up when there's slaves around. And anyone so crass as to publicly, in public, offend the Holy Flame is an enemy. Is that clear? Crystal. You people should learn subtlety. <laughs> Then we might even cooperate. I doubt you were sent here for nothing, after all. Hmm? All right, now you can actually shoot him. Um... Some reports all right, shush. Adventures. I thought he was done. He's pretty much done. Let's grab the uh, stuff off this weapon here, and same over here. I'm not going to kill him because we're playing a good karma playthrough. But um, I don't think it does much. I think I did it on one of my playthroughs and nothing changed at the end, so I really don't know what the purpose of him is. Let's grab some goodies while we're here. Alright, the reason we came down here, you can stay and listen to him if you want. We are going in here. He's like in the middle of conversation. Grab some parts of this gun here. And here we go, the final suit upgrade. If we've done it right, hopefully the achievement will pop for us. Let's have a look. I've never actually picked that one up. Hey, there it is. Dressed for success. Found all upgrades. I'm always a tiny bit nervous when doing these um, walkthroughs and such. Let's just have a look at exactly what that, ooh, what that one's called. I think I accidentally turned that light off. Head across and we have got consumables carrier. Once again, I do not want that, but uh, that is the final suit upgrade. I've never actually picked that one up because I didn't want the achievement to pop. I didn't even get it on any of the practice runs on my other account either, I don't think. All right, back to the van and back on with the mission. Let's go see Demir. All right, 
make sure you save it in case you accidentally uh, drive off the cliff or something. Alright, we're going to make a sharp left. Up here. If you've got this pipe on your right hand side, you know that you're going the right way. Ho oh, ho. Oh. I just want that blood to get off. Alright, here we go. And here is Demir and Gil. Yeah, I'm here, guys. Wait no longer. I am here. Yo. What's up? <laughs> Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. You and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them while you get in through the underground. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Alright, they're going to take us to a little uh, underground entrance. Calm down, Gil. I'm just making sure you guys are all safe. Yes. If possible, don't kill the slaves. Of course not. not. They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. So that information is uh, relevant for our achievements that we're going for in terms of uh, D Demir for this particular chapter and also right for our good ending. Here, this place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for Oh, ages. Jesus to me. Yep. So we I get ya. Probably should take pity on them. Agreed. Alright, can so we go now? Wait? Yep, let's go. Well, let's do this. I'm ready. Alright, I'll raise it and you get through. About time. All right, so make our way in here when we can. Come on, this shit is heavy. All right, calm down. Great. All right, see you, Demir. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. See you up there. Let's go, Damir. Okay, make sure you're in stealth mode. So you need to be crouched. Obviously, no torch or uh, lighter on now that we've got rid of those webs. And we're going to sneak through this next area. Maybe do a couple of takedowns, but we just need to be uh, very sneaky. I'm going to put out this fire, but you really don't need to. Yeah. Oh, that guy normally does not wake up from that. Let's see if I can get things to reset. Of course, I've got the... Um... Go back to sleep, buddy. As long as he goes to sleep, we should be okay. Maybe it's because I put the fire out. Okay. If he's asleep, that's good. Alright, and head up these stairs without waking him up. And before that guy there turns around. Oh, alright. Things are back to normal. As long as that guy there is over in that position on the bridge there, we can sneak around the corner to the left here. And I'm going to do a takedown here in this uh, dog kennel section. You really... You can sneak past him, but it's a bit risky. And it doesn't hurt to just do a takedown here. No one will see this. Alright. And put the light out. Grab his goodies. Yum, yum, yum. And head across this way. Make sure you don't kill him. Just a normal knock. Um, takedown or knockout or whatever you want to call it. And head through this door. Game always makes me stand up here. So make sure you duck back down. And on all my practice runs. Sneak around to the right here. Sticking to the dark. All my practice runs. I was able to knock this guy here out without setting off any alarms. 
But as soon as I started recording, I've done this a couple of times now, and when I knock him out, that slave runs off and alerts the guards, which doesn't normally happen. So now, this time, I'm just going to let him sort of get to sleep, and we're going to sneak around the back here. Yeah, so normally I knock him out. Um, but this should be okay if we sneak around here. Having, having to change things on the fly a bit, but that's okay. We'll get through and just sneak around the back of this uh, guy up on the uh, stage thing here. Stay in the dark and you should be fine through there. Okay. And same through here. If someone does see us, that's okay. Just hurry through here. Just hurry through, don't stop for anything there. And then sneak past this guy asleep as well. And we're gonna put this light out real quick. And head down this way. All right, if you make it to here, you're pretty safe. Put that out and then head through this door. I'll just listen to this. There were more enemies than anticipated. We're inside the compound, but Gil went missing. Wait for our signal. Over. Copy that. Miller, over and out. Okay, with that done, we can uh, just move forward. Do, do not need to be in stealth mode for now. Basically for the rest of this uh, chapter, really. Alright, there's Demir taking care of some enemies for us. That's right, Demir. We're all good. good Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Very good. Make sure you loot the bodies. Copy that. We're going with plan B then. Act accordingly. Plan B apparently. Next the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Alright, here we go. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away is such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Alright, so the Baron, if it even is the real Baron, is inviting us up. Just loot the bodies first. Put the gun down and come up. Holster your gun. We'll have a bondless bloodbath on our hands. And just make your way forward across this uh, bridge here. And we're going to work our way all the way up there and talk to the Baron. And no one is going to attack us on our way up. Come up! We won't even touch you. Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we're as good as dead. What the fuck are you saying? Good luck, Arkyo. If I fucking hear, why don't you worry about that bitch, Kyo? Well, I'll do what I can. Get over here. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. As he said, we're just gonna head around here. Plenty of enemies here. Slaves everywhere. Up we go. Feel free to take a look around if you, it's your first time here. Just gotta remember which way to go now. Is it through here? Yes. Up here. You just gotta make your way all the way up. And when you make it to this gold door, we can make our way through here. Here we go. 
Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird that I'm not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. But with no hope, you can't live. Oh, you're a real, um, good fella, aren't you? But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. That's uh, right. Oh, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their portals in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. That's not happening. And we all win. I have Gyul. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Yeah. Has come for you. You will answer for everything. Okay. Once we're in control, we're gonna head over here. We're gonna get this Gatling gun. Pick up a few things off the uh, bench here, and we're gonna let Gil do most of the shooting in this little section. She's gonna turn around and take care of a few enemies. Now you will all die. Make sure you got your Molotovs selected. I just want to hop in the corner right here. Now, eventually, there's gonna be a little shootout. Gil will take care of most of the enemies for us until there's gonna be a big guy come through that door over there with a Gatling gun, one of those big armored guys. As Soon as we see him, we're gonna throw a uh, Molotov cocktail at him uh, and lay into him with the Gatling gun, and then he should die uh, eventually, like pretty quickly. And then what we wanna do is grab our other gun back and take out the rest of the enemies. Let's just take out some of these if they get too close. I like to try and reload. Sometimes this gun jams up if you've used it too much. Um, I may have to take this guy out if Gil doesn't. Oh no, she did it. Lies in our unity. Our faith that keeps our flock together. It is through this faith that we protect them. Direct them. Keep them. Should take him out, surely. Oh, let's just do it. Oh! Get him, Gil! Alright, I'm gonna need to heal now because of that. Alright, and reload. The attraction Shall I get moving soon. It is an aura of problems nobody needs. Luckily, your death will dispel it. I'll catch you and open the door for you. Alright, once she says that, we can head over here now. I'm actually gonna swap guns back because I didn't once again this did not happen in practice runs, but I keep this gun keeps jamming up on me. Alright, he's about to open the door. So throw a Molotov over there, and then I'm going to hide... Ah! Up here! Jesus. Wouldn't even let me up there for a second then. And we're going to hide here for a second. Take care of anyone that pops up. Oop! Reloading! No fair! Just take care of these guys. Oh, stop it. There we go. Now, swap to grenade. Throw that over there. Heal. Take care of him. Swap to Molotov. Throw it at this dude. Oh, we missed him. Let's just get him again. There we go. Play into him a bit. How's he going? Weapon jammed. Reloading. How's he going? He's going down. Beautiful. Alright. Much better, even though this weapon nearly jammed up. Alright. Alright. Demir's here, so we're all good. 
Let's just loot some bodies. Grab some goodies. Yum, yum, yum. You liked that, did you, Demir? Hold on, hold on. I want to get some more. Okay, we did good. We did good. Hold up. Hold on, Demir. Just grabbing some goodies. Wait for me. Alright, we're coming, we're coming. Hold your horses. Anything else here? Yep. Yum, yum, yum. Yes, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. What about these guys? Hang on. He'll wait. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay. That'll do. Swap over. We all ready? Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, we got her. Take the baron. Oh, okay. Ah! Ow! <laughs> there we go. Anna did that job for us. You dead, man. You gave my people hope. I no worries, Gil. No worries. This war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. She's a tough lady, that one. Hey, there we go. That is the Demir achievement. That's for saving the slaves when we did. And other bits and pieces. So worried. Of course you were. Fanatic and that's for completing the level. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or, perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. All right, there we go, guys. That's right, there's been a proposal. There's going to be a wedding on board the Aurora. And we are about to take on Summer, this uh, short little interval level. So let's do that now. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <coughs> Maybe the smoking doesn't help, Anna. What Just a thought. Even smoke. <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? Oh, really? What'd you put your top back on for then? You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. 
It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Why? Of course I didn't. It was because of dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call it's a bit me. sad. Just A. She'd hug me and say, One day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. I've never actually listened to all this. You can't exit whenever you're ready. Some kind of poison. Oh, yikes. Father I did not know. Father after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagined she grew up and went to Vladivostok. Hmm. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. All right, enough of that. By the way, I was always intrigued by what dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? High rank, he could choose any. Okay. Now. Yep. What do you know? Oh, they're going to the party. Perfect, aren't you? Follow us. Now, hang on. We need to go. Where do we need to go? Wait, I think it's this way. We need to go and grab a collectible first. No, we don't need to go to the bench just yet. Alright, head around here. Come on, get a move on, Artyom. There it is. Alright, this should be diary number 44. Tokarev's note. Alright, there we go. Pause the video if you want to have a read of that. And now let's head to the party. Jeez, Artyom's moving real slow today. Once you get down here, take a seat here. Alright, they're celebrating the, the uh, engagement. Half a year on the road and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. What are you looking at me for? Alright, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. It is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, everyone! Yeah! 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 Yet, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Here we go. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to hold better, you from this day for worse, for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To love, to 
love and to cherish until death us part. It's a wedding. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Goko! Goko! Radio Goko achievement! Beautiful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, she's coughing up blood. That really, uh, put an end to celebrations, didn't it? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on to it. What is going on? It's their cars! They're casitas! Yeah. Yeah. Please, no closure! Get out of here! I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? <sighs> The Yamantau, when they dragged me away. <laughs> that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump. Said How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Arthur, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. All right, we better go speak to Miller about this. Head straight up to the front of the train. So, son, care to tell me what Coronel, do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. Exactly. What do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. Exactly. I think it's the sand. Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. And what if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Okay. Now what, Mila? Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Rena's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. That's right. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it, don't worry. One okay. Yes? I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. Of course I am. Take the rail car, one volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a video here. Um, we've got to head down and speak to Anna and sort a few things out. But we're going to do that at the start of the next video, guys. I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. And thank you for the patience in waiting for this episode. Um, I will try and keep an episode a day. Um, that is my preferred schedule. But it's uh, just been a bit tough with what happened with my voice, guys. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Uh, also remember to join my Discord. There's updates on what's going on with the channel over on Discord. There's a link in the video description. Uh, and yeah, 
Make sure you uh, like the video, post a comment, all that good stuff. And I will catch you all next time.